in this video we will talk about linear regression in 22 and x. So, let us start with the activity uh, assume that uh, your students performance attendance and engagement data you would like to predict the students performance in the upcoming exam in your class. Uh, you have historical data assume that your historical data from uh, last 3 years or 4 years of uh, data collected data from students and uh, you want to predict the students uh, performance in the upcoming exam. What data do you need like do you need any other data and how will you predict the performance? Uh, given all this data which data is important for you and how will you predict the system? So, it can be regression or anything else. So, think about it, write down your answers after writing it down, resume the video to continue. Predicting performance requires identifying pat patterns from the historical data and uh, you, mind, uh, you can use attendance versus performance or engagement versus performance, you can do those kind of uh, data picking. So, you can also talk about questions asked, difficulty level of each questions, uh, topic covered, you covered 4 topics, uh, how much time you taken to cover the topics. Uh, questions we used uh, all these things can be also considered for the predicting this also other data can be used. So, the step is you have to develop the model from the given data. So, that will be the linear regression model we will talk about it. So, after developing the model from the training data you have to extend the model to predict the future events uh, that is uh, apply the learn model new data that is with the current attendance what will happen. Suppose you created a learn linear regression model uh, using learners uh, attendance versus performance from the historical data and uh, that is a trained model and you are going to test it or you are going to use the model to predict the performance of the uh, students attendance in the current semester. So, apply the learned model to predict the future event that is a new data ok that is a linear regression or any other predicting algorithm. So, what is regression? We talk about regression in this video. It is a statistical model which investigates the relationship between uh, dependent and independent variable. We already saw regression uh, briefly uh, that it is to uh, identify the uh, linear relationship between dependent and independent variable. The assumption is there is a linear relationship ok, it is very very important assumption. And it is suitable for working with the continuous data um, for example, uh, the marks we saw that instead of classifying into bin A, bin B, you want to predict in a continuous uh, data like 75, 76.5 something like that. Uh, the use of regression is uh, predicting or forecasting that is what will happen in future, predicting what will the students performance or evaluate the strength of predictors uh, whether uh, which particular um, independent variable is uh, st uh, like strongly associated with the dependent variable something like that also can be evaluated using linear regression model. Uh, it is used widely just because it is easy and uh, easy to understand uh, very no complexity at all to understand to create it. So, it is used widely uh, as a first step in uh, predictive models. So, we saw this picture uh, already uh, the regression can be classified into simple and multiple again simple can be classified into linear regression or non linear regression. Let us talk about simple linear regression then we will see the uh, one example of multiple linear regression. So, there are 4 types of regression other than the, the diagram is shown in the previous picture let us take the linear only ok. Let us take the linear uh, regression in that the simple regression means it has uh, one independent value on one independent value um, let us see. What it means is the y is 1, there is no uh, multiple things you are predicting, x is 1. And uh, we have, uh, we have what is that, we have, uh, uh, we have weight or uh, intercept, call like uh, intercept. So, c plus uh, weight x1, so weight 1 x1 or uh, y equal to mx plus c. So, the weight is this. So, there is a only one independent and one dependent variable here. So, that is called very simple regression, like right? simple regression. In multiple regression, there is one dependent value, see here y1 and intercept plus w1 x1 plus w2 x2. So, this can be right some n variables. So, the number of uh, you know. 
uh, independent variable can be many that is the idea. So, univariate regression and simple regression, so univariate regression and uh, simple regression this and this are same ok, there is no difference ok, it is again on one independent single independent. But let us think about the multivariate uh, regression, it is uh, involves multiple dependent and multiple independent variables, it is not y1, you might have y i like you might predict y i, y1, y2, y3 also possible. So, we will not talk about that ok, that is not needed here, let us think about uh, simple regression and uh, multiple regression, that is all first three things. So, in a simple regression uh, one variable is dependent that is predicted, other variable is uh, dependent, uh, one is independent, one is dependent and you know that x and y, um, x is the independent and y is the dependent variable. Assume that there is a linear relationship between x and y. So, this assumption is very very important, there is a linear relationship between x and y. If there is no linear relationship, simple linear regression cannot be used. So, given a data set x and y or attendance and performance or engagement versus performance, linear regression model assumes that there is a relationship between x and y that is a linear relationship and regression model analyzes uh, the relationship between dependent variable and dependent variable and tries to create a model from the historical data. So, the simple linear regression is uh, simple y equal to mx plus c i y equal to w x plus c. So, if you know the slope uh, is the w and c is the intercept and we have 6 students data. Suppose if you have 6 students data and uh, which means you have 6 pairs of uh, input data, 6 pairs of x i and y i, x 1, y 1, x 2, y 2 something like that. Hope you, uh, hope you understood what I am talking. So, you will have a one set of variable x 1, y 1 that can be uh, say attendance of 80 percent final mark of uh, 75 something like that. Like similarly x2, y2. So, if you have a 6 students data, 6 pairs of x and y is available ok, that is the data. In a linear regression, the goal is to find a linear relationship between uh, these two data that best fits this x and y, that is it. So, the very basic approach is let us talk about the attendance, uh, we have a 6 students attendance data and the marks out of the uh, 100 for the same 6 students. So, we are plotting attendance in a percentage uh, versus marks out of 100 ok, 6 students attendance here, 6 students marks here. Let us see how this uh, line fits ok. Uh, so, so you before doing this you might uh, see by descriptive analytics students who attend the class regularly scored good in exams, you know it is good. So, there is a descriptive analytics says that there is a linear relationship. So, by looking at this data and the plot you might tell that there is a relationship. What is the relationship can be identified by diagnostic analytics, how to use that relationship to predict the future event is the predictive analytics, that is very simple example we are using it in the uh, in this slide. So, let us see I plotted uh, I draw a line here ok, this line is like this, so it fits almost uh, all 3 data and uh, can we say this linear model is correct. Uh, if this model is correct, how do you validate it? Can you say this model is correct and if it is correct, how do you validate it? Uh, please pass this video and uh, write down your answers after writing it down, resume the video to continue. So, the linear regression, um, now we see two models are there, right? Uh, I can say one fitting all this line or uh, one line uh, in the blue color it is actually bit low, but it might be better. Which model is correct? How do you know which model is correct? There might be multiple not just two, no? you know like there are a lot of things possible. So, there might be something like that, there might be something like this. So, there are different lines are possible, which line is good or oh, something similarly something not at all related to it. So, which line is good? How do you say this line is not good compared to other lines. How do you say this? This is the question. In order to do that, it is very simple. We have to look at the objective function. We have to pick the line which gives the very least objective function. That is, uh, we saw the objective function in our clustering example. Now, we can say objective function is mean square error. Let us see how to compute the mean square error. Uh, the mean square error is uh, identified by as a error. Uh, means the error of uh, predicted marks minus actual marks a square of that. Uh, let us see uh, this example here. Um, so, the actual uh, atten for attendance equal to 20 percentage actual mark is 30 ok. 
but the line if you think about the line which uh, is from the model linear regression model gives you this particular line which gives the value which is something related to some 35 some consider as 35 it is not 35 but consider as 35. So, the difference between this predicted versus actual you know does not matter which one is first because we are going to square it up whether it is plus or minus. So, the difference between this value 35 minus 30 is some 5, 5 square is 25 even if it is minus 5 it will be 25. So, you have to use the uh, least mean square method. Uh, so, least mean square method is basically uh, compute uh, this uh, difference between actual and predicted in each point sum it up and divided it by 7, 6 values because of 6 samples you are finding the mean error mean squared error. If you use the sum value also it is fine because both have a same relationship right. So, compute uh, that uh, least uh, compute that value for multiple lines. So, not just one line. So, you, you can have multiple lines right you can have one line here one line there. So, compute that least mean square for multiple lines and pick the one which is best. So, consider a system started with the um, say a line like this and it found some error and uh, it want to reduce or it want to go for the better model. How it go? So, the system will change the weight you know based on the error system will change the weight. The training happens using uh, different algorithms like a gradient descent algorithm or some other algorithm. We do not want to talk about that in this. Uh, uh, course, the reason is uh, it is not to understand how this model is uh, uh, created. If you are interested, go ahead and watch the videos by Andrew NG and YouTube uh, on um, introduction to machine learning. He explains it very clearly how the weight is uh, learned to uh, train this linear regression model. That particular model gives this is the better score. So, say 0.799x plus 12.402, okay. This 12.402 is actually um, intercept if you extend the line. Something like this, it comes like that. 12.402. That's a that's where it cuts the zero, right? So in this video, uh, we discuss what is linear regression and uh, how to pick the best fit model. Thank you.